If you've been following my work, you know I love experimenting with meta-human technology. My goal is always the same, push the quality a little further. The great things about MetaHuman is that with just a few clicks, you already have 80% of the work done. You get a full rig, all the LODs, clean geometry and complete groom system. It's an incredible starting point. But the missing 20% has always been the hardest part to achieve. The expressions. Every human has unique micro expressions, while meta human naturally share the same facial blend shape, and that's fantastic. But when you overlap multiple meta human, they smile in the same way, they react in the same way. This is where machine learning and mesh morpher finally change everything. Today, inside Unreal, we can generate a geometry cache. Export it, sculpt it, refine it, and then train an ML deformer. The result is a custom ML component that we can attach to the MetaHuman, giving its own corrective shapes and its own unique expressions. That final 20% is what brings the character to life. Mesh Morpher is a powerful Unreal Engine plugin that lets you sculpt, morph target in engine, import them, bake them, fix skeletons and create custom correctives. The latest update adds geometry cache export and sculpting, which is essential for advanced expressions work and ML training. There's also Mesh Morpher Graph. It offers the same features, but graphs give you a full node-based workflow. I work with my friend Livio Kirka, the developer of Mesh Morpher, on an R&D test using 30 fax expressions from 3D Scan Store. I create 30 corrective blend shape, the natural pose, plus 29 expressions, all transferred onto the meta-human topology with Mesh Morpher. Then, I exported the full set as an alembic geometry cache, ready for ML deformer training. The training process is long, and in our earlier test, we kept running into vertex order issues on other type of issues. The meta-human head is far more complex than a body mesh or clothing. So even a small mismatch breaks the result. But after updating the Mesh Morpher exporter, everything aligned correctly, and we finally achieve a fully successful training. In this example, we have a match one on the left, a metahuman with only one corrective blend shape, and a match 30 on the right, the version with all 30 correctives and the ML component in a blueprint. Using the exact same sliders values, the two characters produce completely different expressions. A match 30 show the new shapes generated through matching learning. From this experience, we also learn that ML deformer is incredibly powerful, but it reached its real potential only when we feed it a large amount of data, not just 30 corrective blend shape. A real 4D scan with full expressions capture, just like the film industry use, will push the result even further. The difference is that in Unreal, with real-time tool and procedural workflow, this entire process becomes faster, more accessible, and actually fun to work with. Thanks for watching. Have fun creating with Unreal and MetaHumans.